Today I wanted to uh, go over the velocity matching activity that was in the motion sensor lab. Uh, walking around the room, I saw most groups figuring it out, but I didn't see every group. Uh, and some of the groups were kind of willing to say, hey, that's a good enough match, and they went on, and I think they were missing important information without trying to get a good match. So I thought I'd show you how a professional can match a graph here. And so I've been doing this for many years, so this is going to be the best match of anybody. And so we have a velocity time graph. It goes like this, and up, and then over, down, over. Same one you had in the lab. And we can see it starts out on zero, so that's pretty easy. I just stand still and match it. And then now I need to move really fast. Wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to move really fast there. What was I thinking of? I went way off the graph. I know, I was thinking of a position time graph. This is not a position time graph. On a position time graph, a really steep line means to go really fast. This one actually looks vertical. That would mean infinitely fast. Well, let's say it has a tiny slope to it. But it's not a position time graph. It's a velocity graph. I never go faster than a half meter per second. That's a pretty slow walk. And so all this means is I go from being stopped to walking slow without much time going by. So now I got it. Let's erase that and start over. This will be perfect. And so we start. And then I start walking slow. And now I can stop. And then it's, it, it was supposed to stay up there. I could have sworn I was matching a graph. And when I got the line here, I could just stop and it would stay there. That was a position time graph again. Oh. So this is a velocity graph. To keep the line up there, I have to keep moving. And so this will be key. When you're looking at motion graphs, you have to tell your brain what kind of graph you're looking at and make sure you're thinking in terms of that quantity. So for velocity to keep the line up there, I have to keep mo moving at that speed. So get rid of that. So now I'm sure I won't make any mistakes. This will be perfect. If I move back slowly, that's pretty good of a match. I stop, and the negative just means I start moving back slow. Oh, this is going to be the best one of the day. Uh-oh. Uh, I was about ready to do the best match of all my classes, and I ran into the motion sensor. So this must be impossible. Let's just move on to the next. No, shouldn't be impossible. What could we do to match the graph if I run out of room? Well, on this graph, this velocity graph, nowhere does it tell me where to start. It's actually an idea from calculus. The integral of velocity is the change in position. Somebody has to tell you the initial position to know the exact position. And so to get this to match, since I'm running out of room, I could start further back. Not only that, I can figure out exactly how, how far back I need to start. And if you notice, it's asking me to walk back away from the sensor for four seconds at a half meter per second. So the distance is velocity times the time, and so it's going to be two meters. And then I'm walking back for six seconds at a half meter per second. And so when I'm walking back, I go three meters. So if I start a little more than one meter from the motion sensor, I don't want to get too close to it, I should be able to match this. Uh, in fact, if the motion sensor worked perfectly, I could be a mile away from it and still match it. And so here we go. We'll start back here. Slow way, I like this color better. Stop. And then now I can walk toward, if it picks me up. Perfect. 
or at least close enough for government work. So if you had trouble matching this, make sure you understand this. If you want to come in and try matching it on your own, uh, you can.